Hello, Libra. Thank you for being here with me. This is Pretty Intuitive. Back with another one. I hope you guys are doing good. Let's dive into your love life. Let's see what is coming to you in this love thing. Please keep an open mind as these readings are general. All right, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your reading if you have Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. It's coming to Libra in love, Libra. Calling in your soulmate. So Libra, you are calling in your soulmate here, okay? You have your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. You have a past life relationship. You and this person have a past life together. And you also have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of a commitment. Beautiful, beautiful energy. All right, Libra. So it's either you've already met your soulmate, okay, or you are trying to call in that person for you, Libra. What is coming to Libra in love? Libra, you have the Hierophant. You have the Ace of Wands. Wow. Okay. So you could be connecting with a Taurus. You have the Lovers. You also have the sun. You got all the good cards coming out. Who's coming to Libra in love? Libra. The nine of cups. Wow. That's beautiful. You have the fool. So Libra, you may be starting a new relationship sooner than you, you even know. Okay. Could be starting a new relationship. And I'm also getting something about <clears throat> getting married. Okay. You may be getting married here, Libra. Okay. <laughs> um, this person is all about you, Libra. They are. Absolutely. Okay. Now, this could be a Taurus. I do have Gemini, Leo. Leo again. Aries. Pisces, but I'm hearing wedding bells. <laughs> Libra, you definitely could be having wedding bells with somebody. If you're already been dating them for some, for some time or you've been in a relationship for some time, don't be surprised if you and this person actually seal the deal very soon. Okay, you know, the holiday season comes around and a lot of people do like to wait until like around Christmas to propose and there's a lot of things that happen around that time, okay? This could also be the renewing of vows here. If this is your existing spouse, I see you guys definitely getting back together. Okay, real passionately. Like you and this person is getting back together real passionately if that's what you want. Okay, and I'm getting like, I'm hearing some really good sex. <laughs> some makeup sex, like real good sex. Like, oh my goodness. Out of this world sex. Okay. Mm-hmm. The passion, the spark is there again. Um, maybe you guys are going on a vacation, a trip, you know, doing something as a couple with the full card here and the lovers. But the name of the game is commitment. So you and this person will be committed to one another. Somebody wants to commit to you, Libra. Somebody wants to commit to you. If you're hoping for a new opportunity, I see that here as well. It feels as though you're manifesting someone, Libra, who you're going to share similar ideologies with. It's like this person is, they have, first of all, they have morals, right? They're traditional. Um, this is someone who's loyal, deeply loyal, okay? And it feels like you and this person are really, really, truly each other's twin flame. It's like you guys are... The perfect match. The perfect match. This is like your dream partner. So your wishes are coming true. Especially for those of you who are hoping to manifest your twin flame. Or hoping to get back together with your twin flame. You want a reunion. Those are all possibilities here, Libra. 
But bottom line, this is someone who wants to commit to you. So I'm hearing something about taking the leap or jumping the broom. I just heard that. Something about the fool for Libra. Clarifying the fool is the fool, literally. <laughs> Someone made their mind up about you, Libra. Yep, they want a committed relationship with you. Even if it's not marriage, they want a, a, a sincere, committed relationship with you. That's what they're offering here. It's like someone's clear about what they want with you. And that opportunity is being presented to you, Libra. Okay. Wow. Libra. Ace of Cups, Ten of Swords. The Sun for Libra. The Sun. This person wants to spend the rest of their life with you, honey. Ain't no place they'd rather be, Libra, than with you. Literally. The Ace of Wands, a powerful, powerful new chapter in your life, new beginning. And the best thing about it is the fact that you and them, there's a commitment here. You can trust what they're telling you. And Libra, you've been wanting to either meet your other half, someone that you can be serious with, get married, um, or you already have someone in mind and this person also has you in mind. Okay, so you can definitely expect an offer from this person by the end of the month, Libra. And they're literally, literally letting you know, like, hey, this is what I want from you. This is what I want from this. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. <laughs> Somebody is coming to commit to you, Libra. Wow. I don't know, I just can't stop saying wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. Wow. How, well, I mean, what else do you say to that? All you can say is wow. That's all you can say. They're making you a commitment. And I feel like this is either a new love, like I said, or just like renewing an existing relationship. It just depends on what you feel you resonate with in the situation. Okay. Okay, Libra. New love. Travel. Travel could be involved. Okay. Social media. Hmm. You may have met this person online. Okay. We also have dates. You may have met this person online, Libra, is what I'm hearing. Okay. All right. And you have relationship. They want a relationship with you. It's like this person's like, look, Libra's the love of my life. <laughs> you know, it all checks out. Let's just do it. Um, they're taking a serious, serious step with you here to commitment. A serious, serious step. So with death at the bottom of the deck here, Libra, that means that something, some part of your life is coming to an end. There is a great, great transition coming for you. Okay, so you're not going to be single much longer if you are, Libra. That's not going to be the case. You could meet this person while you're on vacation or you're traveling. What else do we have for Libra? You have the Magician. This person wants to make you theirs. And there's something that's really surprising about this. Like this person could be 
taking you by surprise here and popping the question randomly. Okay? That's what I feel. We do have Aquarius here. Popping the question randomly or renewing or or you guys actually sealing. Like, say, for instance, you guys are, are engaged right now, Libra. Then this person could be ready to actually make things official by marrying you. Okay, engaged and married are not the same thing. So this person could want to actually go ahead and seal the deal. They want to seal the deal with you here, Libra. They're offering you a commitment. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, Libra. So that is what I have for you. Let me pull one of these cards as well for the Libra. So they want you to know trust. Your partner has proved themselves worthy of your trust. So this is someone who would prove themselves as trustworthy towards you, Libra. Okay, this person's probably going to charm the, the panties off of you or the boxes off of you, right? Okay, if this is a new love. This looks amazing. Okay, new love. Some of you, you thought it was just friends with this person, but it's not. They want to grow together with you. They want to spend their life with you. And look what's behind that, marriage. Marriage. Okay. You guys have the best reading of the week. I definitely would say that. Congratulations, Libra. All right. So thank you, Libra, for being here with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Please be sure to hit the like button, and I will talk to you guys soon.